What is up guys, how are you doing? So, when I was at Formula E a couple of weeks ago, they gave us all these, they're like radios, for the sake of like, listening to the TV commentary. And I, they were free, and I thought it'd be fun to take one apart. Quick side note, I hadn't realised how much of the Visa logo has been all over my content in the last couple of videos. Uh, make sure to check this video out, actually, the unboxing. Very fun product, I like it a lot. Anyway, let's get started. <laughs> So I thought it'd be fun to take it apart and see what makes it tick. It's probably just a speaker with like a variable resistor. And if I do turn this on actually, you can see the radio channel says E1. But if you press and hold the up and down button, because the formula E1, it turns into a standard radio, which is cool. And if I just... So, um, yeah, so it works as a radio. Uh, quality isn't too great, but hey, let's, let's take it apart and see what makes it tick. First up is this huge piece of Visa branding that pops right off and you see the battery, it's actually a lithium CR2450 battery that also comes right out and you'll find there are two small screws, let's see how well you can see those, uh, yeah so one there and one there and I actually have my little screwdriver set. It is as simple as undoing those two screws. These are actually surprisingly long screws as well, I should mention. Like, look at the length of this damn screw. It goes the length of the whole earpiece. Like, look at this. And once you have them both out, it is as simple as just pushing this off, or pulling this off, should I say. And voila, you have separated well, you've separated a few things. You've separated this piece of plastic and the, the motherboard will come right out. You can see that's where the speaker is. So what we're gonna do next is just carefully remove the little bit of padding that's used to kind of make it slightly more comfortable. And you'll see there isn't much in, way, in terms of comfort when it comes to this. Um, that just pulls right off and Getting this, I don't want to break it as much as possible, so it's going to see if we can just force it through here. Yeah, we can. Oh, that's cool. So you can actually see that this is the lanyard is attached to the radio. So you can see that the lanyard is attached to the radio. And the reason is that's where the antenna is on here. So it actually uses this thing here as the antenna. You can just apply a bit of pressure though and it will pop right off. In terms of taking the speaker apart further, you just need a flat-headed screwdriver, and there is a point right here where there's a slight gap, and it helps if my hands aren't so shaky. You can just pry at it, and just work your way around, and it will pop right off. So as you can see, we've separated the ring from the speaker, and then if we just sort of pry at this part, it should separate entirely. Now I'm trying my best not to break this as much as possible because it would be nice to have it in one piece. Uh, let's see here. There, it is actually glued down at one point. So if we can just get under it, there we are. And there we go. I'll pop right off. You can see the magnet that's inside these things though. Like, see? The screwdriver just kind of hangs loose. So now we have what is more or less the entire radio. There's this ring which you can't really get off without damaging anything, unfortunately. Um, actually, let's try it. Oh, you can, just about. There we are. So as you can see, there's a speaker, and here's the screen. This is where the battery goes, and turning it over, there is a variable resistor, which is how you handle volume on and off. Bringing it really close, you can see how a circuit is completed and broken by this. So when you turn it on, it completes the circuit this bit, pushes down, and closes the circuit when you turn it on. And when you turn it off, it just lifts that up, and that's what causes this clicking noise. In terms of speaker, it's nothing special, it's just a small Let's see here, 32 ohms, 0.25 watts, a small thing, completely designed to just kind of feed into your ear. And a similar thing with sort of, this is the antenna, this is where it comes out of. So as I said, if we grab the lanyard portion, you'll see that you just kind of, this will slot right into there. 
And then if we actually peel this away, we might be able to see some form of wire, I'd assume. There we are, exactly as predicted. There is wire that leads from this little metal bit up to here, and then this will be used up like an antenna, basically. In terms of circuitry itself, you can see there are three chips here that are used to handle sort of all of the important stuff. And the speakers are soldered not actually directly onto the thing, they're actually soldered onto these. So it is, there's, it's a lot more complicated than you'd assume. Also, there are the two buttons here. They're kind of quiet without the thing. And let's, let's do this. Hang on, where did I put the battery here? So if we kind of hold the battery to this, you will see it does actually turn on. And can we get some sound out of it? Hang on. Unfortunately, it seems like we can't. It's just cycling through. So obviously on its own, it has no strength. Oh well, but it was actually interesting to tear this apart a bit. Um, I might see if I can upgrade it, replace this speaker, stick some form of metal here to make a decent antenna. And I think we could turn this into an actually interesting radio, like a mini radio. Um, probably re actually replace the speaker with a headphone jack, I think that would be cool. And you have an actual sort of transportable radio, like a mini radio you can stick in your pocket and use out and about. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. If you like the video, make sure to hit like. If you didn't, I'm not quite sure why you're here, but you are, so thanks for watching. Hit the video up here to see the previous video, and hit the video up here to see a random video I haven't picked yet. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. And if you want to see me take more stuff apart, make sure to ask. And if you think that's something cool I could do this, let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys next time.